This video shows you how to capture your video from your camcorder to Movie Maker. To do that, you click this first task on the list, Capture from Video Device. If you don't see this task list, simply click this task button on the top menu. If you've connected your camcorder to your PC, then clicking Capture from Video Device takes you to the Video Capture Wizard. Simply enter a file name for your captured video. I usually use a description of the video. And where you'd like to save your video file. Click Browse to choose a folder of your choice. If you need to create a new folder, simply click this Make New Folder button. All right, let's go to the next step. There are several formats to save your video file in. I always choose AVI format. This is the highest quality format. You can try out the other formats and compare, but I've never found the quality to match the AVI format. However, the AVI format also takes up the largest amount of space. Five minutes of AVI video takes up one gig of space is a quick way to remember. But hard disk space is cheap. Other useful information here and here tells you how much space left you have on your hard drive. Click Next. Now you can specify the capture method. You can either capture the entire tape automatically or parts of the tape. I usually do parts of the tape because I don't wait till I finish the whole tape to do my home movie. I usually have half a tape or a quarter of a tape. If you check off Show Preview during capture, then the video plays on this preview screen while you're capturing. That takes up memory, so I usually don't do that because sometimes it causes glitches. If I really want to see a preview of the movie, I just look at the camcorder. Click Next, and you're ready to start capturing. The controls here allows you to cue your tape. Fast forward, rewind. If you took my recommendation earlier, you would have jotted down how much video you have recorded on your tape and you would have rewound your tape to the beginning. So I don't usually use these controls here. I do it right on the camcorder. This is where I enter how much video I've recorded, which is also how much video I'd like to capture now. I always check off Create Clips when the wizard finishes because it breaks up your video into individual scenes. Now we're ready to start our capture process. I do that by clicking this button. And I know the video is being captured because this number keeps going up. Now I've captured 13 seconds, 14 seconds. And I've used up this much space for my video file. If you've specified a capture time limit, then you can just go off, play with your kids, and it will automatically stop capturing at that time limit. That's my recommendation. But if you did not specify a capture time limit, then you need to press the Stop Capture button when you want to stop. When the capture process has stopped, whether it's because it hit your time limit or whether it's because you hit the Stop Capture button, you can now press the Finish button. It imports your video files into your Movie Maker software. Because you checked off Create Clips when video finishes, Movie Maker breaks up your long video into these individual video clips, which are really scenes. You can easily preview a video clip by double-clicking on it. Congratulations! You've successfully captured video from your camcorder into your Movie Maker software. By the way, if you look at your hard drive in the folder that you specified, your video file is also saved on the hard drive. This is your source file. Remember what I said, no matter what you do in Movie Maker, trimming, extending, brightening, darkening, it does not change, touch, or damage your source file. It's always here on your hard drive. 